In this episode of Puzzle Time, we are showing you puzzles from a brand new company here at Puzzle Master called Intrism. Now you may recognize these puzzles from episode 110 of Puzzle Time because we talked about them in the online buzz. Now we have them for sale here at Puzzle Master. These are marble mazes that are both wood and acrylic. Check them out in this episode of Puzzle Time. Welcome to episode 122 of Puzzle Time. In this episode, we are talking to you guys about Intrism. Now let's uh, let's pull up the mini to start. Intrism is, uh, Linnea, where are they from? They're from Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Ohio. In the United States. So it's a company that makes essentially uh, a wooden model inside of an acrylic box. And uh, it's a marble maze. So we've seen stuff kind of like this before. So we've had we have marble mazes here at, at uh, Puzzle Master that are called Perplexus. They have like a it's a marble maze. It's all plastic and it's inside of a ball. Uh, this is a cube as opposed to a ball, and this is kind of a cross between Perplexus and um, maybe another company we have called U Gears. So U Gears is where you build wooden models um, that are laser cut. Uh, Plywood, I guess. Is it plywood? Um, but, uh, birch wood, they said. Birch Baltic wood. birch. Okay. So this is a laser cut uh, puzzle, essentially. So what this is, it's a marble maze that you put together on your own inside of a uh, acrylic cube. So, yeah, let's check it out. Uh, we've got two different versions here. We've got the mini version, which is what Linnea has. And I have the, is this the Pro? Is that yes, what it's called? that's the Pro. It says the Pro. Yeah. Okay. You tell, tell everybody about that. What's the, how many pieces are in here? So it's designed like by a guy named Kyle Vanderveer. Kyle Vander Vanderveer. Vanderveer. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, and so the mini here has 130 pieces. The Pro has 150. 150. The difference in size is this is six by six inches, and this is eight by eight inches. Yeah, um, it's essentially the size of the box, right? In the end, yeah. like, it, but just in a cube, right? So you yeah. can kind of. So this one will weigh 108 pounds when you're done, or not 108, 1.8 pounds. 1.8, okay. And then this one is 3 pounds, approximately. Okay. So, yeah, there's 210 pieces in this, 130 in this. This one's quite a bit more of an intensive maze, as it does have um, 150 obstacles you have to come overcome in the maze. Right. And this one only has a hundred or fifty obstacles. So oh, it's three times that. as much. Three times more. So hmm. it'll be way bit way more of a difficult maze. So there is there's a little keychain here that says in Tristan that you can punch out. So all these pieces will punch out. You can see uh they're all laser laser cut. Uh you may not may not pick it up on camera super well, but the black lines is all where the laser is cut. And there's just little little breaks there. And then there, you do get your black marble here. The marble up top there. So how many boards are there in here? Like Let's pull this marble out here. I just want to see. Six in the small. In the Six, mini. two, four. I got eight. Eight boards. In so the, in the big one. quite a bit more in depth than that one. Yeah, absolutely. And as you can see, it is a little bit smaller than the box. Like, the acrylic. Oh, yeah. That's, so this is, this is the acrylic. Oh. And obviously, uh, there's just a peel off part here. So you peel off these. Um, these brown pieces, and this is completely clear, clear acrylic, which you will, um, which will snap together here. So you can see that there's uh, tabs that snap into these holes, and that'll make your outer casing for the puzzle. And then, is there anything else in here? Is that it? That's, um, that's basically it. Like it's just yeah. a U gear thing. You kind of like a gear thing. You have to kind of click together, right? So you right. click all the pieces together. I hope one thing I do hope with this, um, and uh, is that the instructions are well done because I know with U gears their instructions are phenomenal and really really well thought out. These do look to be very similar, um, really well thought out 
but uh, I'm not sure what our levels are going to look like. Like, uh, it's hard to rate something like this as far as like a difficulty goes, because are you rating the difficulty of the puzzle when it's put together? And like, how, how hard is it to do the maze? Are you rating the difficulty of how hard is it to build the puzzle, right? Like, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a thing, right? So I, I don't know what... Uh... On Intrism's website, they rated it by the maze. They said their maze is a level 10 It's a level 10? Yeah. Um, so that's hmm. kind of what they rated off. They didn't really... They gave you an approximation of hours to build it. Like, the big ones had approximately 4 to 10 hours, depending on yeah. your, like... If you're used to these models, or if you're, you know, right. your taste and everything like that, so yeah, I'd, I'd recommend taking your time. I've done some of the U gear stuff, and you don't want to zip through it fast. You don't want to be in a hurry because I, it is like, I mean, it, it's it's these pieces are strong, but I mean, they're wood. You, there is stuff that can break in here, so you want to, you do want to take your time. I would, I would definitely recommend getting some like um, things to help punch out the pieces too, even just a little. Uh, like a file or something, something to push, like just mm -hmm. to push, like with with a little more precision. It's it's cool. This is good. I I think there's a lot of um, their packaging detail is really good too. I like yeah. the look of it. Yeah, and it's heavy. It's 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 hefty stuff. But I really like that they they seem like they have a good good drawings or good graphics of the the build as you go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I checked them out on Instagram and TikTok, and they do a pretty good. Um, views of different like the the puzzle they'll do different good videos on it they right. did somewhere they built it they did somewhere they were playing around with it they did somewhere they dropped one it was pretty cool so yeah they, they are on social media they're on instagram on facebook you said they are on tiktok, TikTok too right as well so yeah. there is a scannable thing on the front here too which you can scan and, and i think it just takes you to their website but um i think that's, that's all we have for puzzles today we just had these intrism puzzles wanted to show them to you the pro and the mini Again, you can get them at puzzlemaster.ca. And Linnea, where can people go to find more uh, of our social media stuff out there? On TikTok, Instagram, on Facebook. Yeah, and our website, puzzlemaster.ca. Yeah. So um, Linnea does do a TikTok Live and a Facebook Live. Keep an eye out for those. Are those on Thursdays only? Um, no, TikTok is uh, two to three times a week. Facebook is only one time a week on Thursdays. So. Okay, interesting. Uh, the big one says ages 14 plus, small one says ages 10 plus. Let's get into the online buzz. The online buzz. Okay, Linnea, this is uh, a lot of your research. So why don't you start talking about uh, Puzzle Portal? Do you want to talk about them? Okay. Puzzle underscore portal. Yeah. So this <laughs> is uh, an account on Instagram. They did like just different puzzle photos of different puzzles that they have. Yeah. They have some really nice photos. I yeah. like their stuff. I, I really love their photos. My favorite was the trick lock photos where they use like LED light strips yeah, strip that wrapped around and through the trick locks to kind of show off the trick lock a little bit better. Yeah. Kind of an art artistic take on puzzles and puzzle photography. Yeah. I think my favorite was they had Quad L and Phantom, two of our metal puzzles that Puzzle Master makes. And they had them uh, on like a table, but there was like wood shavings all around. And not just like wood, not like sawdust, but like curled wood that had been like peeled off, like with a, what are those called? A planer, hand planer? Yeah. Like they'd hand plane some wood. It was cool. They had lots of some fun stuff like that. Yeah, definitely check out their photos if you like photography. Yeah. They're really good. One thing I will say, they, they have not posted for almost a year. So it is uh, maybe seems like maybe an inactive account, which is unfortunate. But uh, hey, here's hoping they do it again. And they are German. There's a lot of German language stuff on there. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, Puzzle Portal. I like that. Okay, so the next one is a puzzle called Waves Puzzle. Um, so it's this iridescent kind of clearish acrylic puzzle that... It's a uh, jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, jigsaw, say. yeah. yeah. Um, so like when you change, put different lighting or change lighting in your area, that changes the color of the puzzle just because it is iridescent it'll shine off of it different ways mm -hmm. if you have it on a different surface you'll see that kind of surface shine off through it in the light and yeah stuff like it was that, cool so. yeah so clear, clear acrylic with like an like an, uh, iridescent like finish on the top or something so it was it was actually pretty neat yeah and then what i enjoyed about it too is there's not just one solution there's actually multiple solutions so you can do the different puzzles with yeah it. i saw that they so they <laughs> Because I, I went and watched Karen Puzzles do it, and we have always enjoyed her stuff with jigsaws. Karen Puzzles is on pretty much all the social medias out there. But she did it, and there was, so you could make, I think when she pulled it out, she actually didn't, um, didn't do a lot of, like, didn't read much about it. She just kind of jumped in. And uh, so it makes, like, a 7 by 7 square, and she had some trouble understanding that at first because she didn't read the instructions. 
Plus, inside the instructions, there was a solution, which I don't love that, but there is a solution to the puzzle. But you can make like a seven by seven, and there was like a few different sizes of things you could make. And there was even like, I think the middle had like a, a completely square piece without any knobs on it or anything. And you had to spit that into the middle of the puzzle. Yeah, but, there was, you know. yeah, like it said that you could do it two different ways where you could combine, like put the, all the square pieces straight in the middle and put all the pieces of center around it. Or you could do an opposite way where you leave all the square pieces to the outer edge and don't put any in the middle. Right. And then there's like a five by five solution you can do, a three by three, and then you can, can also combine more than one puzzle together. You can combine two or more puzzles together. Make like a their, their puzzle? Yeah, to make oh, a bigger really? version of it. So, huh. Yeah, these are interesting. Uh, go check them out on Instagram. Do you know what their, their handle was on Instagram? It was just Waves Puzzle. Waves Puzzle? Okay. Yeah, yeah so I think that's the company. Anyway, I wasn't quite clear, but they have a website as well. But uh, go check out Karen Puzzles. She did them, and I, I enjoyed her watching it. It was part of a bigger video where she did a few different puzzles, but the Waves puzzle was in there. It was a good one. I, I enjoyed that. Next, uh, Linnea, how do you say this name? I, I have no idea. I was like, Kin Ka Ka Ka. Kin Ka 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 Ka? Ka Ka? Yeah. Kin I don't know. Ka -ka. It's K I N K A K A K A W W. No idea. Yeah. We Chinese, Chinese TikToker? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we don't actually even know if it's Chinese. We, we just like, chucked some of the words on there into Google Translate and it came out as Chinese. So yeah. what that means, Mandarin, Cantonese, I have no idea. But Chinese TikToker, and that, yeah, at K-I-N-K-A-K-A-K-A-W-W. -W. <laughs> Weird. Long name. Yeah. So what did he do? Um, so he did all different sort of brain teaser puzzles. There's quite a few different videos there to watch. There was some Haniyamas, there was some wood puzzles. There was a lot. He had a lot of variety and a lot yeah. of stuff, like a fair amount of stuff I didn't recognize again, which like we've said before, is rare for us to find someone whose stuff we don't mm. recognize or recognize Just what it is. because we have or, so much stuff yeah, here. Yeah, we do. So th are like, the yeah. selection is definitely huge. My favorite of them was, uh, it's like this square wood frame. It's probably approximately this size and it has like wood pegs that stick up out from it. And so there was like, it just randomly said it looked like at the beginning. But then you have these like L-shaped pieces, and I believe there was nine of them that you have to fit onto the, the pegs. The pegs are attached to the l shape or not? No, they're attached to the square frame. Oh. And then you just have to, there's holes in the L-shapes that you have to put the pieces. Oh, yes, I on. did see so that, that one. Was a, that was like one of their yeah. first videos they did. Or it was like the third yeah. video they did on TikTok or something. And so it was cool to see that like the holes in the L-shaped pieces. So it's more just the more than just a packing puzzle. Yeah. Where it has like the holes in there and you have to use the pegs to figure out how to fit them on yeah. the frame. It's not just fitting them into the, like a square frame, right? What I found with this guy's stuff is he did a fair amount of like, I think Chinese stuff. So there's uh, a lot of our stuff is just made in China. That's the way it is, right? Yeah. Uh, but this guy like pulled, I don't know, like there was a, he had a fair amount of variety and some of it was like definitely knockoffs or had some like English on it that wasn't great. I, I saw a few packagings, packages like that. But my favorite thing that he had um, wasn't really even a puzzle. It was called Chess Memory. And so it was a, a round board uh, with holes in it all over. And then he had chess pieces with knobs on the bottom that, that those knobs fit into the hole. Now on those knobs though, each of them were colored. So it was red, blue, green, yellow. Uh, there was like six colors, I think, because uh, what you were supposed to do is you put those all the chess pieces into the hole so you couldn't see the colored knobs and then you roll the die with the, the, all the six colors on it and you had to pull out a chess piece with that color on the bottom and if you did it you got to keep it and keep going so it was like a memory game that was based on chess oh. and so you didn't actually play chess or anything but it was just memory with like chess pieces they all look like pawns but I thought that was kind of interesting I was like that's an interesting idea but I don't know where it was from. I didn't talk about it. But the one thing I really didn't like about this channel, every single video had the exact same song. Yeah, that annoyed me It was too. the worst. It's like if you want to go through all his videos, now you yeah. have to listen to the same all song. This over. song yeah. wasn't terrible in and of itself. But when you hear it like 20, 30 different times, because you watched a bunch of videos, it was really annoying. Yeah. So didn't love that. The, yeah, I don't know, continuity, I guess. But hey, I... Pick some different songs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was it. I like this stuff though. Kin ka 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 ka. Yeah, I don't know. But that's it. Online buzz. We're done. That's the end of the episode. Um, join us again next time for episode 123. 
where we're gonna be shooting some new 3D printed stuff that I might have made. <laughs> so yeah, join us next time, episode 123. We're gonna be talking about a couple 3D printed puzzles from a company that I just recently started with, uh, kind of with my wife and my father of sorts. So yeah, check it out. That's the end of this episode, 122. Thanks for joining us. Uh, check out these Intrism, Intrism puzzles on puzzlemaster.ca and we'll see you uh, next time. <laughs>